Keiichi Sato. I will make you my boyfriend. No, thank you. What did you say? Good morning, how's it going? I'm Keiichi Sato, 17 years old. I'm a second year high schooler and in charge of keeping animals. Hey, a new student is coming today, right? The super beautiful girl we heard about, right? They say she's prettier than an idol. When I entered the classroom, the whole class was buzzing with rumors about a new student. Oh yeah, I remember the teacher saying something like that. Well, she's Kobayakawa-san, who will be joining this class today. I'm Yui Kobayakawa. Wow! She's so cute! She's a goddess! She's certainly pretty, but I have nothing to do with me. I love a limited edition peach tea. Yes, I'll go get some right away. It's only been three days since she came to the school. Yui Kobayakawa already had a fan club and became the queen bee of our grade. I wonder what everyone likes about that arrogant girl. Mm. Hey, let me ask you something. Yes, what is it? You know Keiichi Sato in our class, right? What kind of guy is he? In a word, he's a quirky, gloomy introvert. Yeah, tell me about it. He hangs out at the rabbit hutch whenever he gets a chance. Hmm? Someone like him is ignoring me? Keiichi Sato! Hmm? I'll make you my boyfriend. You... Pathetic! Don't even have any friends. No, thank you. What? What did you say? You're kidding. Do you even realize what you're saying? Oh, maybe you don't get what I'm saying. I'll have myself become your girlfriend. Did you hear that? Yep, I got what you said and meant. At least in a linguistic sense. But you're still taking that attitude? I don't get it! Well, let me explain it to you in a simple way. I'm not interested in you at all. What? Excuse me. I've got some animal keeper business. What the hell? What the hell is wrong with that guy? Huh? I really don't like a girl like that. No matter how pretty she is, absolutely no go. I'm off. Hey. I've been waiting for you, Keiichi Sato. Sucks. What do you mean, sucks? That's rude. My bad. Sorry. You should at least try to make up for it. Well, I thought it was rude to say what's on my mind. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to school with you. So you should at least carry a bag. Why? Why don't you carry it yourself? Hey, wait! And then... Hey, teach me the math assignment. Why are you asking people so arrogantly? Hey, I'll have myself eat lunch with you. As I told you yesterday, don't mind me. Hey, walk me home. Sorry, I have prep school today. Yui Kobayakawa was relentlessly messing with me. There you are again in a place like this. Day after day, all you do is take care of rabbits tirelessly. Which is more important, me or the rabbits? Enough of this. Let's say 90% of the people in this world are pampering you, and I'm in the 10% that aren't. Why not? I'm saying I'm going to be your girlfriend. What the hell is wrong with you? That's the part about you, you know. What do you mean, I'll be your girlfriend? When did I ask you to do that? Well, because all boys want to date me. I don't like a girl who boasts of her looks and demands to be treated like a princess. You don't like? You're kidding, right? I can't believe he said that about me. Maybe I went a little overboard, but she's the type of girl who wouldn't get even if being told bluntly. It's not something I feel good about. But I'm sure Kobayakawa-san will leave me alone now. Oh, it's Kobayakawa-san. One day after school, 
when I saw Kobe Akawa-san stuck in front of a convenience store. Ah. Uh? This is indeed... I can't ignore it. No umbrella? It was stolen, so... Don't you want to buy one? They said it was sold out. Your house is in the same direction as mine, right? Yes, but... Then I'll walk you home. Why? You hate me, don't you? I didn't say I hate you. And even if I did, I wouldn't leave you alone. Thank you. She can say thank you properly. What? No, nothing. Hey, walk at my pace. Good grief. She's a selfish queen after all. It's me. Hello. Welcome back, Yui. It rained suddenly. Are you okay? <clears throat> oh, and you're a friend? Hello. <clears throat> uh, I'm Keiji Sato. You walk her home? Yes, well. That's very kind of you. It's no big deal. We're soaking wet. Bring us some towels. Oh, sorry, Yui. Sorry too, Keiji. I'm so inconsiderate. Not at all. Th that's enough! I'll go take a shower. I'm sorry my sister caused you trouble. If you'd like, I'd be happy to make you some tea. Oh well, but please don't bother. She's called Noah, right? She's Koba Yakawa-san's sister, huh? But she looks so mature. Here you go. Thank you. Is it strange? A plain girl like me is Yui's sister. No, it's not like that. Yui and I are twin sisters. Twins? But we're fraternal twins, so we don't look alike. <laughs> Everyone is surprised, you know? When they learn we're twins. Oh, well, I don't mean to intrude, but... If you and Kobe akawa son, I mean Yui-san, are twin sisters, why didn't you come to the same school? Yui-san's twin sister, Noah, was not at all like Yui-san. I was unusually interested in other people. I'm a student of Animal Related. In the future, I want to work with animals, which I love. I see. So do I. You too, Keiji-san? I love animals too. I want to go to a vet school. Me and Noah hit it off in no time. We had a great time talking about animals. You two seem to be having a lot of fun. Yui, you shouldn't be dressed like that in front of the guests. So you like this type of dull guy like him, huh? Yui, you're rude to Keiji-san. Keiji, do you like this kind of plain girl too? No, it's not like that. But I think that Noah is a very nice girl, who is kind, gentle, and polite. At least, more so than the girl who gives people orders all the time. You! How dare you talk to me like that! Get out of here! Go home already! Wow! There is someone who could behave like that to Yui. Yui-san, what on earth is going on with you? Hmm? Keichi Sato, how about this? Huh? What do you mean? You like this kind of girl, don't you? I made myself look like your type, so you should be grateful. Oh, I see. You know what? Even if your appearance changes, if your inside is the same, there's no point. Ugh! Why? I'm making huge concessions, you know. That's the part about you. I mean, why is she so obsessed with me? I couldn't understand a single thing about the female mind. Keiji? What? You're good at math, right? Yeah, well, it's the subject for the entrance exam. Then teach me. Why do you always ask people with an imperative tone? That attitude just won't do. Ugh. Teach me? You may... I mean, can you come to my place? Your place? Okay, got it. Let me be honest and come clean. I actually wanted to see Noah-san again, so I took Yui-san's invitation. 
The problem was using this formula. Yeah. Um, is this correct? Yeah, that's correct. Hey, how about this one? Yeah, that's... Keiji-san, Yui, would you like to take a break now? Thanks, Noah. Since then, I visited the Kobayakawa household many times to help Yui-san with her studies. But... Yui-san has changed a little lately, hasn't she? I'd say she's become kinder, or rather less arrogant. 60% less than before. I guess they are sisters after all. Hey Keiji, are you free this Saturday? Yeah, I'm free. If this had been back then, I could have never imagined her asking my schedule like this. Keiji, come to my place this Sunday. Yui-san, in a case like that, you have to ask the other person's schedule first. Everyone has their own plan, you know? Ugh. Hey, what do you say? Yeah, I'm available. Okay, here you go. These are tickets to the new zoo. My dad got them from a friend. You like zoos, right? You're always in the rabbit hutch. Yes, the zoo has been my sanctuary since I was a kid. That's right. You even go to the racetrack just to see the horses running, right? How do you know about that? I know everything about you. Creepy. That's what is creepy about you. Seriously, you know? Noah, son. I'm sorry for laughing and stuff. You two are really good friends with each other. No, it's not like that. Don't be shy, Keiji san. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Before I knew it, I was able to talk normally with Yui, who I sucked at. So, um, this Saturday, can you go to the zoo with me? Please? Yui-san, at times like this, it's okay to say, let's go to the zoo together, you know? Is that right? Because this is not an order or a request, but an invitation, right? Yes, that's right! Keiji, let's go on a date with me on Saturday! To date? Yeah, sure. But, what about Noah-san? That's the ticket that your father gave you, right? Is it okay for me and you to use it together? Keiji, don't care about Noah. Yui-san, even though she's your sister, you shouldn't talk like that. I'm sorry. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to, right? I'm sorry, Noah. Don't worry about it, Yui. Thank you for your concern, Keiji-san. But I go to the zoo all the time, so don't be concerned about it. I see. Well then. I'll take you up on your offer. Yay! First date with Keiji! Yui-san has really changed. Old Yui-san would have said, Shut up! Don't lecture me! And snapped right away. Keiji, this is my new clothes. What do you think? Looks really good on you, but there's a lot of bugs at the zoo. You shouldn't reveal too much skin, though. Where should we start? Leave it to you, Keiji. Then let's go see the Okapi, of which there are still only a few in Japan. Okapi? They're a rare herbivore called the forest giraffe. You really like animals, don't you? Keiji, I'm going to the restroom. Can you wait here? Yeah, sure. She didn't say wait here, did she? <laughs> Noah-san, what brings you here? There's an internship program in the vocational school curriculum. Oh, so that's why you come to the zoo often. Yes. How's your date with Yui? Going well? Yeah, well, relatively. You know, Yui is actually a kind girl. But because of her look, she's been pampered excessively or treated so lousy out of jealousy. Experiencing like that since she was little caused her a little bit twisted. So please don't hate her. Yui is really caring about... Keiji! Hey there. N noah I was taking a break and happened to see Keiji-san. I gotta go back now. Take your time and have fun. Yui-san, aren't you tired? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, Keiji? 
What do you think about Noah? What do you mean? Answer me honestly. You like her, don't you? Yes, I really like her. Huh? She's sweet, kind, loves animals, and is a lot of fun to talk to. Really glad to become friends with her. Uh, friends? Huh? By any chance, you don't know? Noah's son is dating a graduate of a vocational school. What? Then you often texted her was... I don't have any other friends I can talk about a vet school with. Don't make me confused! I didn't even like you at first. Actually, I was just being stubborn because I didn't like being ignored. Yeah, yeah. That sucked completely. But you know, I'm smitten by you now. Because it was only you that telling me what I shouldn't do. I've never felt this way before. I see. I like you now too, Yui-san. But I don't know if it's romantic feelings or as a friend. Can I have more time to figure it out? Yeah, I'll wait. Everyone has their own timing. Thank you, Yui-san. Thus, on my first date, I received my first confession of love. One year later, we both graduated without a hitch. I was accepted into medical school and Yui-san into a private university's English literature department. Noah-san, who graduated from a vocational school with excellent grades, was immediately offered a job at an animal hospital. However, I still have a few things left to do. Yui-san, please be my girlfriend. Keiji, sure, I'll have myself be your girlfriend. I'm Keiji Sato, 18 years old. Graduated from high school and turned out to have the best girlfriend and best friend. Come on, kiss her now. You want to kiss anyways too, right? I'll pass. Why won't you kiss me? I think I'm falling for you. Uh, my name is Keiichi Sato. I was forced by a colleague to go to a matchmaking party today to make up for the numbers, but... Welcome back. What? Oh, uh, I'm b back. Even if they talk to me, I can't carry on a conversation with them. And it's absolutely impossible for me to talk to them. This is hell for an introvert guy like me. You haven't been drinking at all, have you? I... I can't drink much. No, no I, can't I can't do, do it. it. I'll d drink Ugh, It's bitter. You didn't drink much at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty interesting, aren't you? Whoa, oh, she's, she's cute. cute. Oh? You've fallen in love with Kanaya too? You can't fall in love with Kanai chan Everyone's after her. I, 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 I didn't mean it that way. Hey, aren't you being rude to us? Since we're all feeling good now, how about we play a bit of King's Game? King's, King's Game? game? No, no way. way. Sounds good. Kanai chan is mine. All right then, I'm gonna be the king. Then, Kanae-chan needs to kiss the king. Oh, come on now. That's against the rules, right? Oh, well then. Number five kisses number two on the cheek. Oh, man. I'm number two. Are, Are you, you serious? serious? That's so hot. Who's the lucky number five? Girl on girl would be so hot, too. It's m me Huh? Are you serious? I envy you, Keiichi! Well then, hurry up and kiss her now. Um, if I refuse here, it'll get so awkward. Well, I got no choice now, do I? You want to kiss anyways too, right? Huh? It's just on the cheek, so let's hurry up and do this. What, what should, should I, I do? do? What, what should, should I do? do? What, what should, should I, I do? do? Come on, hurry up! Uh, no, I'll pass! What? Ah, oh, come on, don't say anything to make it awkward! 
You'll never get a chance like this again, you know? Haha. <laughs> really Kissing a person, things like this, but you should only do it with someone you love. That's so outdated. <laughs> How old are you now? <laughs> wow, you're cute. You're such a pure-hearted guy. I can't believe you refused to kiss me. I really can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're so funny. Well then, let's stop with the King's Game and go to karaoke. Yeah, good idea, Saki-chan. <laughs> uh, um, I'm gonna go now. I'll leave the money here, so if you'll, uh, excuse me. I'm, I'm exhausted. exhausted. I, should I should never, never go, go to a matchmaking, matchmaking party. party. I'll, I'll definitely, definitely refuse, refuse to go, go the, the next time they ask me to. to. Wait a minute. What? W uh, why? Didn't you go to the karaoke? How can I even be in that kind of mood? Are you mad? Why didn't you kiss me? What do you mean, why? So I told you, you should be k kissing the person you love. I think I'm falling for you. Excuse me? She's, She's falling, falling for, for me? me. Uh, for, for me? me? Why? why? No, I must have just misheard you. No, you didn't know? I did say that I think I'm falling for you. Uh, huh? Is this some new way of recruiting me into an organization or something? And are you going to trick me into buying a pot or something? I'm sure you're trying to get a guy like me, who's not really immune to women, and invite me to join into some weird organization or something. Um... I can't really hear what you're saying. I... I don't have any money! <laughs> You're interesting. I knew, I knew it. it. I, I can't, can't interact, interact with, with girls, girls after, after all. all. I'm, I'm only fit, fit to live my whole life savoring the happiness of being allowed to love a person from the two-dimensional two world. Good <laughs> eye, son. <laughs> Hello? Hey, what do you mean by you don't have any money? Well, I thought uh, that you're going to make me buy a pot or something. <laughs> I wouldn't do anything like that. Uh... Hey, you're free tomorrow after work, right? Please don't assume things. I already heard that you go home immediately after work every day. Let's go out for dinner, just the two of us. Dinner? Are you being serious? Uh, no, I'm really busy tomorrow. Then, see you tomorrow. Uh, extroverts are scary. I, I haven't, haven't heard, heard from, from her since, since then. then. I, I guess, guess she, she was, was just, just messing, messing with, with me, me, huh? Thank, Thank goodness. goodness. I need to, to hurry home, home so that I can, I can watch, watch the rest, rest of the anime. anime. Hey, don't ignore me, okay? Eek. Hey, don't react like that. How did you know? Of course I've heard everything about you, duh! I've already made reservations at the restaurant, so let's go! Let's go! What am, what am I, I supposed, supposed to, to talk, talk about? about? Help me! Why are you being so uptight? <laughs> I'm not really immune to the g girls. So, am I your first where you had a dinner alone with a girl? <laughs> You're so cute, but I'm happy. Um, why are we having dinner? So I told you, didn't I? I told you, I was falling in love with you. I'm a boring nerd who loves the two-dimensional world, and I can't do anything for you, so let's just stop this from now. I'm not asking for much, you know. I like you, so I'm just acting on my own as I want. But what the? And besides... You don't judge me by my looks. Huh? After that, Kanae-san told me many things. She told me that she has a younger brother, a much younger than her, and that she can't eat tomatoes, and... Winning the beauty contest, isn't that pretty amazing? Hehe. <laughs> I was recognized as the prettiest girl in college, and it was the happiest moment of my life. It must, it must be, be nice, nice to be born, born with, with great, great looks, looks, huh? She, she has, has a bright, bright personality, personality, and I can, I can see, see why, why she's, she's popular. popular. 
I feel like the image I had towards her kind of changed since the one I had during the matchmaking party. Well, for me, she's just way out of my league, though. After that, Kunai-san messaged me several times, but I didn't know how to reply to her, so I didn't reply back to her. Then, the next week... Gah. Sorry, am I bothering you? It's not that, but... Since you didn't reply to my message at all, I just came here. I have to go home early today, so I'm really sorry! Hey, what do you think I should do? Do girls in real life aggressively approach guys like that? I don't know why she's doing that to me. And maybe because I'm just strange to her and she's doing that out of curiosity? I guess it's like a little girl liking a toy she sees for the first time or something like that, huh? I'm sure that's what it is and she'll get bored of me eventually. I'm sorry for coming to your office uninvited like that. No, it's okay. Wanna go on a date this weekend? A date? Yeah, let's go to the aquarium or the amusement park or wherever you want to go, Keichika. I, I only go to Akiba, the sacred area for nerds like me, on the weekends. I've never been there. Will you take me the next time then? To Akiba? It's definitely n uh, not fun. Why? Why not? I'm sure I can have fun anywhere with you. S see ya. Good night. <sighs> This is not going well at all. Maybe you're being too aggressive. You think so? Maybe it's important to maintain some distance. Distance, huh? And just pull yourself back more and when he starts to question like, hmm? Then you should say things like, I was being patient because I wanted to get to know you better. I guess that should work. You're amazing, Saki! <laughs> well, good luck! Thank goodness, she's not here today, too. I got my peaceful, calm life back! Hey... Eek! What? You're pretty rude, aren't you? Oh... You're free now, right? Let's have a chat. What? Where did my peaceful, calm life go to? How are things with Kanaya lately? What do you mean? There's nothing going on. Maybe it's because she's been thinking about things and being out of it lately that guys are confessing to her more frequently. All the male employees from various departments has been going over to her. I... I see. Well, good for her. Well, she's turning them all down though. <laughs> do you know why? No, I don't. You're that type of person who's really thick-headed or stubborn, huh? Can't you see that she likes you? As Kanaya's friend, I'm gonna be serious here. She may look like a flirt, but she's actually quite pure and earnest. I feel bad for her if you don't think about her properly. But there's no way she'd seriously like me. Are you really below the level of a baby in terms of love quotient? The, the world we live in is just too different. It's impossible for me after all. <sighs> Look at this. Hmm? This is Kanaya when she was in middle school. Huh? She used to be chubby and plain, and people around her used to say some terrible things about her. Then, when she became a high school student, she worked part-time to save up money, studied fashion and makeup, and worked hard. I've been watching her closely for a long time. She, she worked, worked so, so hard, hard for it. For it. <sighs> I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed of myself, myself for thinking, thinking that being good-looking good is, is beneficial. I've never seen Kanae act this way on her own before. Ever since she was severely rejected by a boy she liked in middle school, she's been pretty insecure about being in love. But, but now she's popular with the guys, right? It's true that there are a lot of guys who ask her out, but I've never seen Kanae accept them. She's not that kind of shallow, you know? But, but what, what am, am I, I even, even supposed, supposed to do? It's, it's not, not like, like I can, I can do, do anything, anything about, about it. it. Fine. Then, wanna go out with me? Whoa! No, no way! I can't ever do that! <laughs> huh? 
I bet your head is full of Kanaya too anyways. You know, I'm supposed to meet up with Kanaya tomorrow, but I can't go because I'm planning to have a stomach ache. What? So you go instead of me, okay? <laughs> this is my treat. Well then, see ya! Wait... For real? But, but well, well, I can't, I can't keep, keep running, running away. away. Huh? Um, Saki-san said she couldn't go because she has a stomach ache. What? <sighs> Are you sure? Yes. I, I never, never thought, thought the day, day would come, come when, when I would enter, enter such a girly, girly store. store. By the way, how did you know that Saki has a stomach ache? Oh, we met up yesterday and... But you refused to see me. I wasn't refusing to see you. Or no, maybe I was. I'm sorry. I was being patient for a week, you know. <laughs> there are so many c c c couples here in this store. I've always wanted to try the couple's only menu here. Can I order it? Couple... <laughs> hey, do we look like a couple? I did not dunno. What, what the, the hell, hell is happening? Mmm, <laughs> that was delicious. I'm really satisfied. Oh, is that you, Kanai? Oh, yeah. Ha ha ha. I've seen the photos, but I can't believe how much you've changed. And definitely a different person. <laughs> it looks like you even got plastic surgery. <laughs> they must be from her middle school. Um, is that all? Cage Cook? Wow, she changed so much. But she ended up being with a guy like you. is such a tragedy. <laughs> it's more tragic that you can only think like that even when you've become an adult. I beg your pardon? What did you just say, you stupidly nerd? I don't think you have the right to make fun of a girl who has worked so hard. How great are you guys? If you're so annoyed about it, try being a Grand Prix winner at the beauty contest! Huh? We're good looking from the beginning. So if we only work a little bit harder, then we can easily do that. <laughs> um, excuse me. May I talk to you for a minute? He, he's so hot. He's on another level. Yes? This is my business card. Would you be interested in modeling? Modeling? Are you with your friends? Oh, um... Yes, that's right. We're her best friends. Actually, we're also interested in modeling. Oh, um, that's not what I meant. I just want you both to push her into doing it. Huh? I think we'll definitely be popular than her, you know? No, I'm actually looking for a girl who can model immediately. You both are a bit... What? How rude! But even if you both were to debut together, you both could serve as a foil. But you both would probably never be in the spotlight. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. It's rude. <laughs> I, I can't believe this. I'll refuse to do it anyways. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Beauty comes from within, you know. Thank you very much. I look forward to hearing from you. Please support her too, as her boyfriend. B boyfriend? Um, thanks for covering up for me. But how did you know about my past? Uh, actually, I heard it from Saki-san yesterday. It was a turnoff for you, wasn't it? Of course not. I respect you for working that hard. You'd say that? Thank you. What are you going to do about modeling? What do you think I should do? I've been recruited a few times before, but I've turned them all down. It's not like I was good looking from the beginning. Um, 
it might be good to be a beacon for girls who are struggling with low self-confidence right now. Well, that's what I think. I see. You're right. She'll be more and more far away, huh? Hmm? No, she's been far away to begin with. But what's this uncomfortable feeling? Could this be... If you'll support me, maybe I'll give it my best. I can't do that. Yet. <laughs> you're right. Sorry, sorry. But maybe you're my first love. Huh? From the time I wake up in the morning to the time I go to sleep at night, all I can think about is you, Kanae-san. Even now, I feel an uncomfortable feeling in my chest. I mean, I've never felt like this before. That's called love, you know. It's exactly the same for me, too. Whoa! Will you support me by my side? If you don't m mind being with an unreliable guy like me. After that, Kanae-san joined the modeling agency. Six months later, she was on the cover of a magazine and her being on TV programs increased. What triggered you to become a model? I wanted everyone to know that even though I lacked in self-confidence, I could look good if I put all my effort to it. The one who I love gave me a supportive push and encouraged me to do it. That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Stay with me forever and ever. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to look after her for a while. Sure, leave it to me. You had a baby? I can't believe you had a baby with another woman! You're the worst! What? What? Are you serious? Your older sister got married? What are you talking about? But she now has a kid too. Seriously? Man, I was aiming for her. What the heck are you saying? Hey, sorry. Hmm? Ah, yeah. Thanks. Hey, Keichi! What does this mean? You, are you close with Nagisa-san? And no, no, she was just my classmate when we were in elementary school. Are you sure about that? Aren't you just saying that, but actually you're going out with her? No way, I'm not even. Hmm? Oh, no, it's nothing. My name is Keiji Sato. I'm just your average high school student. That beautiful girl you just saw is Nagisa. She has excellent grades, a nice personality, is popular, and is always surrounded by a group of friends. Well, before I knew it, the world she and I live in has become completely different. I'm home! Welcome back! Oh, Yuka. And Mika-chan, too. What's up? She came here for the business trip, and they'd be here for a while. My husband's also busy with work, and he can't take any days off at the moment. So they decided it would be better if we babysat Mika-chan here at home. Are you okay with that, Keiji? I wanted to see Mika-chan, so it's fine with me. Well, it's not like you even have a girlfriend anyway. You don't even go out after school. When you were in elementary school, was it Nagisa? You used to hang out a lot with her. Hey, don't talk about N Nagisa. It's different now. <coughs> oh, they're there now. Well, I've... <coughs> You're really good with her, huh? Well, I've seen her many times before, you know? Papa! Papa! Oh, yeah. She calls you Papa, Keiji. My husband was being a bit jealous about that. <laughs> well, I'm flattered. It makes me happy to know that she's become attached to me like that. I was looking forward to babysitting Mika-chan. 
the weather's nice, so I guess I'll bring Mika-chan to the nearby park once I get home today. All right, I'm going home. Uh, okay, aren't you going home early? Or are you going on a date or something? <laughs> yeah, I am. What? Are you serious? He's so fast. Oh, Keiji forgot the worksheet for homework. Is Sato-kun here? Oh, Keiji went home quickly. I see. Did he have some plans or something? He's going on a date. What? <laughs> oh, uh, no. Well, well, I think it's just a sarcastic joke we make since we're not so popular with girls. What's that? Uh, oh, yeah. If you're looking for Keiichi, could you take this along with you? I'll let him know about it. The worksheet? Okay, I got it. D date No way. Since it's Keiji, he won't do that, right? Because Keiji promised to marry me back in elementary school. When my mom was in the hospital and I was lonely, he told me. Nagisa, there you are. Keiji! Let's hurry home. Nagisa, your dad was worried too. No! I don't want to. I'm lonely at home without mom. Then I'll go home with you. Huh? I'll be your family, Nagisa. W what? Oh. After mom returned home after giving birth to my younger sister, Keiji often came to our house. He took good care of my younger sister, and he took good care of me, too. The feelings I have for Keiji are second to none. So, if he's really on a date, I'll never forgive him. Mika-chan! Are you having fun? Yeah, Papa! <laughs> I'm not Papa. Oh, I wonder what it is. Hey, Keiichi! What's up? You forgot the worksheet for homework, right? Uh, so I gave it to Nagisa. To Nagisa? Why? Well, she was looking for you and seemed like she wanted to talk to you, so I asked her to hand it to you. What? You said that? Uh, Ke- Huh? Keiichi, I'm sorry. Thanks for even taking her for a walk. Oh, it's fine. Uh, Mika-chan seems to enjoy it as well. You really are good at babysitting. I really appreciate it. Mika seems happy too. I'm gonna need you to look after her for a while. Sure, leave it to me. We had a baby? Nagisa? What's wrong? I think that's Nagisa. Nagisa-chan? Your childhood friend? Yeah, I'm gonna go after her for a bit. Hey, Nagisa, weren't you looking for me? Why did you run away? <laughs> Nagisa? I can't believe you had a baby with another woman! You're the worst! Uh, no, um, you got it wrong. <laughs> you betrayed me! I told you that you're misunderstanding here. Liar! I heard you being called as Papa! Well, there's a reason for that. Then, what's the reason? You were just being called Papa! But you're not being Papa is strange, isn't it? You're lying! Why did you get married to another woman when I... I'm here! Why? What do you mean, I'm here? Because, from my point of view, you're completely out of my league. It was all for you, KG. I studied and researched a lot so that I could be your girlfriend anytime. 
C calm down, Nagisa. There's no way I can calm down! <laughs> I've always... Always been... So, so, this is... For now, I brought Nagisa over to my house and tried to convince her. So... So that's why... I... I jumped to conclusions. I'm sorry. Thank goodness you understood. First of all, there's no way that Katie would be popular with any girls, right? G That's not true! Katie Kun is wonderful! Huh? Katie's wonderful? Oh, uh, oh, well. Hey, Nagisa chan. If you don't mind, could you and Katie take care of Mika for me? What? Oh, of course. We won't just leave Mika to just the two of you, but will you help me and Yuka? Hey, it'll be a hassle for Nagisa if you say something like that out of the blue. Right, Nagisa? I'll gladly help. What? <laughs> and like that, Nagisa joined me to babysit Mika-chan. After school, the two of us started taking care of her every day. Nagisa-chan, you're really good at babysitting. Really? Maybe it's because I took care of my younger sister. Oh, that reminds me of something. How is Yuka-chan, your younger sister? Oh, she's doing fine. She's a brat, though. <laughs> Back then, you used to take care of Keiji a lot. Actually, Keiji was the one who took care of me. Uh -huh. And the good times flew by so fast. My sister's business trip was over, and the day for her and Mika to go back over there was approaching. I've just started getting along with Nagisa again. I guess this life is almost over, huh? Ow! Mom? Mom, are you okay? Ugh, I heard my lower back pop. Oh, it's okay. Ah! It looks like you strained your back. Maybe you should just lay down. You're right. If I lay down... Oh, oh, I think I should be fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Yuka said she's going to be late today because she has to hand over her work. But don't worry. I'll take care of it. M me too. I'll stay a night here today and take care of Mika-chan and help around the house. Oh, no, I feel bad. No, don't be. Please don't worry. I already got permission from my parents. Please leave it to me. I feel really bad, but I'll take your words for it then. If you need anything, just call me right away. Okay. I'm done cleaning up. Shh. Oh. She just went to sleep. She's sleeping peacefully. She must be relieved to be with you, Nagisa. You think so? Well, let's cook dinner for the time being then. Now I'll help you. <laughs> Somehow in this way, it feels like we've really become a family. Hey, Nagisa. Oh, no, it's nothing. Hmm? W when we're like this... Yeah? It feels like we're a r real family, huh? I'm t sorry. I said something weird. Forget it. I take back what I said. So, you take it back? Huh? I think... I agree with you, too. D does that mean... Mama! Mama! Oh! I'm going to go ch ch check up on Mika-chan! 
Uh, okay. What she said now. She means that. She agrees, so that means it's th that, right? Does it mean that Nagisa thinks of me that way too? Mom, I brought you some dinner and medicine. Thanks. Is everything okay? Yeah, we cleaned up and finished cooking just now, and Nagisa's looking after Mika-chan. Well, that's a relief. I've called Nagisa-chan's parents too. Oh, okay. They said, please take good care of my daughter. It feels like you are both newlyweds. Huh? W what are you talking about, Mom? Don't make fun of me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Well then, you should go back to doing whatever you need to do. Nagisa, she's tired too, huh? How nostalgic. When she was babysitting Yuka-chan... Oh, to think about it, a long time ago. I'll be your family, Nagisa. What? What? Mm. Oh no, how could I say that? Even though I was a little boy back then, maybe I wonder if Nagisa remembers this too. Keiji. Hmm? Good job. Are you gonna sleep too? Come here. Oh, okay. Mika-chan's been saying she loved her papa. Oh, r really? I'm a bit jealous. Jealous? What? Nagisa! When we're like this, we're really like a family. Um, Nagisa. Hmm? Not like a family, but... Uh, okay. Once we get in college, get a job, then I want to be a real family with you. Even though I might be getting ahead of myself. No! I also want that too. I'm sorry, everyone. The handover took some time. Oh. oh. The next day, my sister and Mika-chan got picked up by my sister's husband to go home. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you, Keichi-kun, and everyone else. It's not a problem. Please come again anytime. Thank you so much. Well then, see you. Uh I hope it was good practice for you guys, because you might have to do it sooner or later. W what are you saying? W well, for that, I learned a lot from this experience this time. <laughs> but thank you both so much for your help. You've both been a big help, and Mika's really happy. I'd be happy if that's true. I've come to love Mika-chan. You can't! Mika's my daughter, so I won't hand her to you. Mika-chan, one of these days you'll have a relative who is your brother or sister, so please make sure to get along with them well, then. Well, hey, N Nagisa! <laughs> Good one, Nagisa. Yeah, dreams don't come true unless you put them into words. Yep, yep, that's right. Well then, I'll see you both again. Bye-bye, Papa! Mama! Someday, if that really happens, that would be great. I'm sure it will. Hey, why was she calling you Papa? You're misunderstanding. Are you just playing around with me? So, so I'm saying... My name is Keichi Sato. Hey, Keichi! Wanna go to karaoke on our way home? Yeah, I wanna sing since it's been a while. I was living a normal high school life. Oh, hey! Look, that's Kanae Ise. Oh? Oh, you're right. 
Actually, there's a female student at my school who's known as the strongest gang leader that everyone was afraid of. There are rumors that she defeated against ten guys, or that she fought a bear with her bare hands. She looks great and has a great style, though. Well, yeah. But you still shouldn't get involved with her. She's the leader of the gangs around here. Y yeah you're right. But actually, the leader of the gang and I have known each other since we were kids. We used to play together a lot. Wait up, Kanai-chan! My gosh, Keiji, you're slow! Kanai became a delinquent in middle school, and we stopped talking since then. Why did she become like that? I got scared of Kanai, who began to fight with people almost every day. Kanai was good with her studies and entered the same high school as me, and her legend was passed down in school. I really wonder why she became like that. Then one day... I'm home! Welcome home! Oh, you were here, huh? When I returned home, my niece, Minori-chan, was at the house. Welcome home, Keiji. Sis, why is Minori-chan here? It seems that Minori-chan's mother had something to do today, so she left Minori-chan at our place. Ah, oh, I see. Daddy! Long time no see! Oh, you still call me daddy, huh? Well, she's still young, so it can't be helped. Minori-chan is still very young and has a habit of calling the guys that she knows daddy, and sometimes calls girls that she knows mommy, which could cause uh, some trouble to people. To a park. A park, huh? Well, it's not too late, so let's go. Oh, then I'll go too. I want to play with Minori chan too. You're coming too, mommy? Yeah. Can I go too? Sure. <laughs> Thanks. Both my sister and I adored Minori chan and did not mind taking care of her. When we're out in public, you have to call me brother, Minori chan. Oh, um, th then can you call your mommy as sister? Mommy! Oh, who cares about how she calls us, you know? But people around us can misunderstand. I'm fine with that. I'm not! What? You don't want to be married, couple with your older sister? Of course. Why would you even ask that? But you said that you loved me, KG! That was when I was little, and it's something I want to forget. Oh, don't say that. So you were only playing with me, huh? Please don't say such things like that when we're out in public like this. Here you go, Daddy. Thank you. Here you go, Mommy. Thank you. You're such a good girl, Minori-chan. Oh, my. It must be nice to come to the park as a family. It's so heartwarming to see that. My child has some moments like that, too. Huh? Uh, hey! Hey! What the hell? Who is that girl? The three of them are like a family, aren't they? Daddy! Yes, yes. Yes? Uh, hey! He admitted that he's her dad? What? She is a love child? A love child? No way! It's a lie, right? So while I was busy fighting around, he was spending all his time knocking up a woman and having a baby other than me? I still feel like I've been misunderstood. Oh, that's enough, Minori-chan is a little girl, so no matter what we say, she won't change the way she calls you, okay? Well, yeah, but... Daddy, let's go to the swings next! Okay, okay. Well, it can't be helped, huh? At first, I was concerned, but then I decided to think that even if I say anything, Minori-chan was still young and that it couldn't be helped. Yay! Mommy, do more! Okay, okay, I will. Daddy, look! I am looking. Hmm? What's wrong? I felt like someone was staring at us. Oh, it's probably one of the wife around the neighbor anyway, right? She was gossiping earlier on, too. Yeah, well, I guess so. My sister said so, and I thought, well, that must be so. 
Well then, let's go home, Minori-chan. Yeah, I'm hungry. Then let's go home and have dinner. Hmm? What's this? It's a bag from the convenience store. There's something in it, too. I wonder if someone just left it here? They might come to pick it up, so why don't we just leave it here? Yeah. The next day, I was at school as usual, talking with my friends. And you know... Seriously, that must have been tough. Hey! Give me your face. What? Hey, did you do something? She was super angry. I, I don't know. Did I do something? How would I know? Y you come with me. Sorry, but I got something coming up just now. Don't abandon me like that! I didn't know what was going on, so I headed to the back of the gym while being a little scared. W what is it? All of a sudden... You! Since when did you have a baby? Huh? When did you get married? Now, wait a minute. Married? A baby? What on earth are you talking about? Because! You were with your baby and your wife together at the park yesterday! What? The park? Isn't that... Why did you tell me anything about it when I'm your childhood friend? So, you're misunderstanding here. That girl is... I don't want to hear it. I've always liked you. But having this happen is just too much! Huh? Ever since we got into middle school, you wouldn't talk to me. Did you hate me that much? No, I mean, you became a delinquent all of a sudden. I wasn't a delinquent! People began to pick a fight on me, so I only accepted their challenge. Well, that's what delinquents do. Yet you get married all of a sudden and have a baby! This is just too sudden and too much for me! Wait, just calm down for a moment! What? There's no way I can get married while I'm still a high school student, you know? Plus, there's no way I'd have a baby. But yesterday, at the park... That girl is my niece, and the girl you thought as my wife is my older sister. What? But, but... I heard Daddy and Mommy. And my niece has this habit to call the guys she knows as Daddy, and to call the girls she knows as Mommy. But it looked like you and your wife was pretty close, so it's hard to believe that she's your older sister. Uh, look, here's a photo of my older sister. I mean, you've met her before, right? Oh, oh yeah. I've seen her before. I mean, if I got married in high school, there would be rumors going around. And if I had a baby, I wouldn't even be able to go to high school. Y yeah but... Then why don't you come over to my place and check? You're not married? I'm not. A baby? There is no way I have a baby. <laughs> Get it! Whoa! W what the? All of a sudden... Forget it! Forget it! C calm down! You're totally out of your character! Shut up! It's because you complicate things! I hope you lose your memory quickly! Oh, stop saying nonsense. <laughs> Did you calm down now? I'm so embarrassed that I want to disappear. If there was a hole, I'd even break the ground open so that I could get in. Well, I know how you feel. I don't know why I'm misunderstood like that. Yeah, but, well, I feel a little relieved. Huh? Because there's a lot of rumors about you. That you won against ten guys, and you're the strongest gang leader. But I'm relieved to know that you're still the same Kanae I know. I didn't intend to change at all. You were the one who left, didn't you? Well, it's because you became a delinquent in middle school, Kanae. Then I quit being a delinquent, and we can talk again like we used to. Yeah, that's fine, but, well, um, you like me, don't you? Forget what I said. There's no way I'm confessing to you like this. Oh, okay. I'll pretend I, I didn't hear that. Hey, why don't you stop with that gang leader style? Huh? Isn't cool, though? I think you'd suit wearing a normal skirt, don't you think? Y you think so? Yeah. 
And doing your hair and the makeup properly is better, right? Then I'll change up everything. Once I get home, I'll fix everything. Well, doing it bit by a bit should be fine, too. But that's what you'd prefer, right, KG? Well, well yeah. The next day. <laughs> hey, were you okay? I was actually really worried about you. Yeah, right, when you just abandoned me yesterday. Well, but I'm glad you're fine. What did you think was going on with me? Well, I thought you pushed Issei's buttons and you were being beaten up. That's what you thought, but then you left me for dead, huh? G good morning. Oh? Ah, uh, good morning. Huh? Oh? Who's that? Was there a girl that cute in our class? H hey! Who is that cute girl? Huh? Oh, that's Kanae. What? But by Kanae, you mean that Kanae Issei? No way! Are you serious? Why Kanae-san? You quit being the leader? Why so suddenly? It's not like I had intentions to become the gang leader in the first place. Anyways, besides, Keiji was saying that this is much better. What? No way! Those girls were crying, you know. Even if you say that, I can't do anything about it. Well, you're right. But why did you become a delinquent anyway? Huh? So I told you I had no intention of becoming a delinquent. I just dressed in my uniform and got picked on fights, so I accepted the challenges and made friends who are really unique. So you became a delinquent and even a gang leader without realizing it. Yeah. And then you stopped talking to me and left me. Th that's because you scared me. I'm not scary! I missed you, you know? I'm sorry, but looks are pretty important, you know? You look much better than the Kanai before. Sh shut up! Okay, okay. I feel like I'm the only one freaking out and looking like an idiot. Yeah, you're so thick-headed! And it seems like some kind of rumor is going around. Like the gang leader got a guy, or the gang leader was actually a beautiful girl. They're making it too much of a big deal. Besides, I don't remember calling myself the gang leader. I guess people just spread the rumors like that, huh? I didn't know that either. I won't let them make any rumors about me anymore. I'll be a normal high school girl from now on. Yeah, that's better. And you're cute. <laughs> You idiot! Just don't say it like that! What? I couldn't. Well, it's not that you can't say it, but it's embarrassing. Easy! Huh? Um, you're that girl from the high school from the next town who tried to pick a fight with me the other day. Why are you dressed looking like a coward? Is it true that you quit as a gang leader? I've been telling you for a while now that I'm not the gang leader. Who is she? Oh, uh, she seems to be the gang leader from the next town, but she's always turning on me. I won't allow you to quit without telling me. What changed you? Is it a guy? Is it because of that guy there? No, it's not because of him. No, actually, it is, isn't it? Shut up! Hey! <laughs> Quit being lovey-dovey over there! We're not being lovey-dovey here! Oh God, I'm so pissed off! I'll make you cry today for sure! Bring it on! Come on, then! Let's do this! Hey! Wait! Hold on a minute! Move, you gotta get hurt! Keiji, why? I'm sorry, Kanae doesn't fight anymore. I'm sorry. What? B but Keiji, there are people who pick a fight on me like that, and in order to eliminate them, I should just show them. You've got it wrong. What? If you answer violence with violence, then it'll always come back again. Uh. And every time that happens, I have to worry about you. Instead of wasting the time worrying about you, I want more time to love you more, Kanae. More time to... L love uh, okay. I won't do it. I won't fight anymore.
Good. Well, that's how it is. So let's go home, Kanae. Okay. Oh, I want a boyfriend too. Keiji? Oh, hey, sis. Sis? <laughs> Who is she? Are you cheating on your older sister? What? So then, Keiji, you are together with that girl. I told you that she's my older sister. I'm more than just an older sister to him. Shut up, sis. More than an older sister? What kind of relationship is that? So she's just my older sister. I'm his lover. I told you to shut up, sis. You're complicating things. Even if you're his older sister, I will not hand Keiji over to you. Well, I won't accept the fact that Keiji has a girlfriend then. Please, don't say anything in public that could be misunderstood. It looks like my agony has just begun. Um... Can people actually live here? <laughs> well, the inside is really clean, so come in. <sighs> well, uh, you know, I was a little busy and I couldn't really clean up. <laughs> I've never seen such a dirty room before. My name is Keiji Sato. This girl is Nagisa, and she is the daughter of my cousin who had passed away. She's still so young. Poor thing. Oh no. What shall we do? We're not able to look after her. Worst case scenario, we'll have to put her in an institution. What? How could they say that in front of Nagisa? The moment I thought that, my body naturally moved. I will... Excuse me? I will look after Nagisa-chan! It's not an easy thing to do. No. If it's Keiji-kun, Nagisa-chan is also fond of him, so it might be just a good idea. All the relatives gathered to discuss about it on the spot, and within a few minutes, it was decided that I would look after her. Nagisa-chan, uh, let's live together from today! Is that okay? Mommy... I'll be with you. I'll always be by your side, Nagisa-chan. Ten years later. I'm home! Hey, chan Welcome home! Whoa! Wanna eat dinner? Or wanna get in bath? Or... Do you want me? Where do you even remember these things from? I want dinner, please! Ah, uh, give me a break. Today, I made your favorite Salisbury steak. It's delicious! Nagisa, you're really getting good at cooking, aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I want to control over you and your stomach, Kei-chan, and leave no room for other girls. Oh, you're saying that kind of things again. Besides, can you please stop calling me Kei-chan? Aww, you don't have to be so embarrassed about it. I'm not being embarrassed about it. Here, Kei-chan. Say, ah. I, I can eat it on my own. Oh, really? Then tonight, will you sleep together with me? Why would I do that? There's no way I'm going to sleep with you. Why not? I used to sleep with you in my arms while hugging you tightly. When was that? Kei-chan, when Mom was still alive, we took baths together, and slept together while cuddling, right? Don't you remember? That was when you were five years old, or something like that. Even now, the age difference doesn't really change, so it doesn't even matter. Maybe, are you being shy with me, Keija? Are you getting conscious about me? No way! Then it's okay. It's not okay! God, you should be more aware about your growth. Huh? What did he say? N nothing Anyways, Nagisa, you're almost 18, huh? What would you want for your birthday present? 
I can ask for anything? W well, as long as the amount is within the range where a poor office worker like me can afford. I don't need you to buy me anything as long as you're with me, Kei-chan. Oh, come on, don't say that. It's your birthday after all. There's only one thing I've always wanted, you know. Considering that, I feel like you ask me to buy clothes, makeup, and other stuff frequently. That's because I wanted you to be happy, Keicha. This year is different, because I'm turning 18 already. What is it? Anyways, just say it. I want your last name, Keicha. Come again? Now, don't tease me. I'm not teasing you. I really want to be your wife, Kei-chan. That's impossible! It's not impossible. I'm dead serious. Don't get close here. There are a lot of decent guys around your age, right? You don't have to marry an old guy like me. All the guys in my class are no good. They're all immature. I'm sure they'll get more attractive sooner or later, and men are like that. Maybe so, but that's none of my business. Or, is it okay for you that I marry a guy you don't even know about? All right, all right. Now, don't tease an old man like me. Eat quickly, study, and go to bed. I'm being serious. Whatever. Oh, gosh. I've never even heard of her having a boyfriend or that she has someone that she likes. I was afraid that Nagisa's life would be ruined if she kept on staying with me. I have to tell her about that, too. As soon as possible. The next day. Oh, is Nagisa not home yet? Hey, come on. You're a girl, so you should be more careful, you know? <sighs> Are you still mad? It's nothing. Just do the cooking and the laundry on your own. I'll do that on my own, but... I guess she's still mad, huh? Well, I'm sure she'll be in a better mood soon. That's what I thought, but Nagisa's mood never seemed to get better. She locked herself in her room again today. We live in the same house, but I haven't seen her for two days now. It won't get better if it just goes on like this. What? Uh, let's chat a little bit. <sighs> uh. What am I even supposed to talk about? Nagisa was the one who was talking more to me. I hate how I lack in communication skills. You know... Yes? I've been thinking about it since then. And I've decided to stay with my other aunt for a while and go to school from there. Huh? That's probably better for you too, Uncle Keiji, right? I've already talked to my aunt about it. Uncle Keiji... Hello. Yes, I'm sorry. It seems like Nagisa is being a little selfish here. Oh, it's fine. But did you have an argument with her or something? Well, a bit. It seems like she's in a bad mood. She's going through a rough stage. I see. Well, it's rare enough that you both didn't argue with each other while you were living together. That's true. But I guess you're right. I'm sure things will cool down after a while. I'm sure she'll understand how important you are to her. I guess so. If you need anything else, please call me right away. I'm really grateful of you for taking Nagisa in with you. I hope I can repay you in some small way by doing this. No, oh, please don't worry. Thank you. One week has passed since then. There was no sign of Nagisa returning back here. She only read my text and ignored it. Nagisa always worked so hard doing the house chores for me. High school students must be busy studying and playing, but she never complained about any of it. All I remember is Nagisa's bright smile. She has no idea how much she has saved me and how much she means to me. What is this? What is this feeling? A few days later. Nagisa, let's have a talk. I have nothing I want to talk to you about anymore, Uncle Keiji. I don't have that much time to talk either. She won't even look me in the eye. Hey, Nagisa, why are you mad at me? Is it because I said I wouldn't marry you? Whatever. 
I care about you, Nagisa, from the bottom of my heart. So if you shut me out like that, I don't know what to do. You care about me? What? Yeah, I do. Huh? Hey. You're lying. I mean, I'm not even happy to hear you say that now. But I've always cared about you, Nagisa. So what? You and I can't get married anyways, so don't say that so easily. Marriage. I thought I loved you, Nagisa, like my real daughter, but I didn't. I'm someone else's child anyway, so it's only normal that I'm not lovable. It's okay, I'm leaving your house anyways. Huh? What's the matter with you? It's none of your business, okay, Uncle Keiichi? I'm going to my aunt's. Since I'm not lovable, it doesn't matter if I'm gone for good. That's not it. Huh? God, just listen to what I have to say until the end, okay? It wasn't until you left, Nagisa, that I realized how important you are to me. But to be honest, I'm not sure if it's this is based on any romantic feelings I have for you. I don't have much experience with this kind of thing, so I just need a little more time. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm going to face my feelings and sort them out before you graduate from high school, Nagisa. I'll try to sort things out properly, so please, don't tell me that you're leaving. Aunt said that Nagisa would realize how important I am to her. But I'm the one who realized how important Nagisa is to me. <sighs> Nagisa? That's impossible. What do you mean, impossible? That day... When I stopped doing the house chores, I learned about marriage in home economics class. Huh? Even if you and I were in love, we can't get married. Uncle Keiji, you already knew that, so you thought that I was just a child who knew nothing. Oh, wait, hold on. You're my cousin's daughter, so that doesn't matter. Adopted. Huh? Once I'm adopted, and even if it's resolved, it's not possible to get married. Huh? So, even if you love me, Uncle Keiichi, we can't get married. What? You were depressed over something like that? <laughs> me? It's not just that, you know? Hey, wait! Let go of me! I don't want to go through any more pain! Just listen to me! <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I guess that's what made you misunderstand, huh? If you told me sooner, I wouldn't have fallen for you this hard. That's not what I meant. You've been misunderstanding, but you're actually not adopted. Huh? But you took me in and raised me. Yes, but instead of adoption, I became a guardian of a minor. What do you mean? At that time, you were just eight years old, and people would be nosy if you changed your last name, right? I thought it would be too much for you to have to explain about your mom's death. Besides, I wanted to leave something for you so that you'd feel connected to your mother and have some kind of bond with your mother, even if it was just a little. When I found out that you didn't have to change your last name if I became a guardian of a minor, I knew this was the only way. And... Um... Um... How should I say it? Huh? If I'm a guardian of a minor, we can get m married You're lying. I'm not lying. I was going to tell you right before you turned 20. No way. Are you being serious? Yeah. Well, uh, hey, don't hug me like that. I'm so happy. I thought that if I couldn't get married anyway, I should give up on you as soon as possible, Keija. Well, it's not really decided yet that we'll get married, you know? From now on, I'll need to face my feelings. Keita. Well, you're so close! I'm going to make myself more and more attractive as a woman, and I will definitely make you fall in love with me! Uh. <laughs> Keita, you're all blushing. No way! You're still a baby! <laughs> well then, I guess I'll cook something for the first time in a while. Truth is, I've already... Oh well, I won't tell her that just yet. Like that, 
We made up, and a few months later, Nagisa graduated from high school. And... I will protect her smile for the rest of my life! That's what I vowed to myself. Thank you for watching until the end! Please like our video and subscribe to our channel!